Hello fellow collectors, it's Marlo back again and today we're going to take a closer look at the 1-6 scale Lazuli figure by W. JL Toys, as you can see they're limited. I guess this was released in 2018, but I just got this in hand and again it is by W. JL Toys. I don't think I have anything by them in my collection yet, so this is a first time. And it's for, again, the Lazuli figure. And if you are wondering what the heck is Lazuli, it is, I don't know. <laughs> uh, this figure is basically based on the likeness of Android 18 from Dragon Ball Z. So you can kind of see here on the box uh, a slight image looking through the window of the figure inside. We pull the sleeve off of the box you can see there it says 18 again lazuli and you can see some of the manga illustrations there for uh, android 18 so some more images there of the box I'll give you guys a good look at the packaging and the manga illustrations are all around the box from the front to back <clears throat> and uh, yep so let's go ahead and open it up and see how the figure is packaged inside let's see it's a shoebox style box with some foam inserts and <clears throat> right away you can see the figure inside again Based on the likeness of Android 18, it's unlicensed, so it's not quite full-on anime style. It's sort of a semi-realistic take on the character. Oops, there were some accessories there. And you can see some more of the accessories that have come loose in the package there. I believe they should be housed on this side, so... Uh, bunch of extra hands. some pegs and uh, some feet there so anyways let me get the figure out of the package and give you guys a <clears throat> excuse me closer look at the figure and here we have the Android 18 Lazuli figure out of package and I don't know I think she looks pretty good picked her up for about hundred twenty dollars so not too bad considering other 1-6 scale figures and the going prices these days and for me you know i'm a fan of android 18 and dragon ball z so this was a figure i sort of wanted to have in the collection as far as her accessories again you see some extra i believe these are neck pegs here uh some extra feet bare feet in case you wanted to have your android 18 with bare feet um some open hands here sort of a trigger figure finger hand uh, two open hands there or grasping hands <clears throat> and then two fisted hands there so yeah right now I have her with one of the trigger trigger finger type hands and the open hand and again just to give you guys a look at the figure overall I think the quality of the clothing is pretty nice the denim jacket there is well made her uh, long sleeve shirt underneath the belt her skirt the uh, leggings here are sort of an elastic material, so that's nice. They fit really nice and snug over the figure uh, legs there. I think her boots are really well done with a faux type leather material. Give you guys a look at that. And underneath the back of the figure, you can see there the red ribbon army. <laughs> insignia there and you can see there's like some velcro there if you wanted to undo the lower skirt <clears throat> I think the fraying on the jacket's a little bit too much but uh, it's cool I guess you could always trim that down if that bothered you and uh, I'm happy with the figure overall um, I just noticed that the head articulation is kind of weird. It does rotate all around, look up and down, but it doesn't really hold a pose like you wanted to 
have her looking downward or upward. Doesn't hold it very well, it's kind of loose. And the face sculpt is okay, not too bad, but uh, I think the product images that I saw looked a little bit better in my opinion. I'll try to insert <clears throat> a sample in the video so you can compare for yourself. And I'm not too crazy about her hairline. It looks like they kind of overdid it here with the top of her hair. I think her face looks a little bit more narrow overall with the final product compared to what they had in the uh, uh, prototype pictures. But uh, oh well, what, what can you do? So a little bit unfortunate about that. I really liked how she looked more in the uh, sample prototype pictures. But uh, this figure is not too bad. If you're wondering about her articulation points, let's see, you know, she's a basic 1-6 scale figure. You know, she can move all the way around, her arms go up and down, some rotation at the waist. Uh, they used a rubber type uh, chest material, you can see it's kind of squishy there. But the rest of the body is a harder plastic. Legs can go out, but it's going to be a little bit hindered by the uh, leggings there, don't want to rip it. You know, oops good bend at the knees nice and stiff at the feet so you know like I said a basic 1-6 scale figure with uh, you know multiple points of articulation so you can definitely get some great poses with this figure but I think most of you guys who are probably going to be interested in this figure would be most curious about that face sculpt and again not as nice as what she looked like in the uh, prototype or uh, sample pics. So uh, a little bit disappointed about that, but she's not too bad. Just that hair, it just looks really, I don't know, extra exaggerated, especially with this top portion. I think, again, I think they kind of overdid it with that, in my opinion. I mean, she did kind of have that look in the anime, but with this just with her face being a little too narrow and that it just makes it even look a little more strange so let me see if I can get her posed once again there you have her standing up so again a pretty cool figure if you are a fan of Dragon Ball Z and you like the character of Android 18 this might be something up your alley again just something kind of cool for me and my collection since I'm a fan of hers uh, that's more or less it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing and review. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Share the video, like the video. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Take care, guys. Keep on collecting. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.